Let's look in detail at one of the columns that appears in the Workspace browser, and the other browsers for that matter, and that's the Waveform column. OK, this shows whether a waveform overview has been calculated for each particular audio file. You can see in this example that the top folder, the audio loops folder, the waveforms haven't been calculated. And then in this other folder, they have been calculated. So what is it that controls that? Well, first of all, if a waveform has already been calculated and stored either with the file metadata or in the global wave cache, then it will appear in the waveform column. Um, secondly, if you import a file into a session, uh, the waveform will be automatically calculated on import. Um, and thirdly, if you audition a file in the Workspace browser or other Digibase browser, um, it will calculate the waveform as follows. So I've got this file selected, press the spacebar to audition. Okay, and it calculates the waveform. We can do that for uh, multiple files by selecting them like that. So I click the first one, shift clicked the one at the bottom of the list, and then I can right click to access the uh, workspace browser menu, and then I can choose calculate waveform from that menu, and it will calculate all four waveforms required in one hit, like that. OK, so that data is normally written um, as metadata into the file itself, but when that can't um, happen, for example, with interleaved files or with uh, read-only volumes, then that data is stored in the global wave cache uh, on your Pro Tools startup volume.